stakeholder meetings, it seems that they're very opposed to changing the management control of the company. In fact, we spoke to us, our sources in the banking industry. What they had to say is that even earlier, they had faced a lot of resistance from some of the large uh, shareholders in the company who had even gone to the extent of challenging them legally from changing the uh, shareholding pattern in the company. And now, even at the annual general meeting, the shareholders have rejected the claim to convert 51% uh, of that 16,000 crore debt that the company is sitting on into equity to allow the lenders to take control. Uh, of course, ABG in the meantime has also been speaking to a lot of players for strategic investments, largely because they were pushed by banks to do so. But so far, despite many promises, not one of those deals has materialized. Uh, so for, uh, for now, what we understand is that the lenders have written to the Reserve Bank of India, as we had reported earlier, to allow them more time for the conversion of debt into equity, citing the fact that there were legal restrictions, and uh, which is why the whole process got delayed, and they will need more time for conversion of debt. For now, we understand they're still keen to bring in an investor uh, with SDR or outside SDR. Look at the goal of these companies. Uh, uh, thanks a lot for that, Ritu. I mean, 16,000 crores of public money is what you have misspent and you're not able to pay back. You know, the goal to say that I will not go to a different management. Uh, I mean, if in this country bankruptcy laws worked, this company would have been sold and scrapped out. It's just that the court system takes so long that lenders are, you know, left high and dry and borrowers think mm -hmm. that they can call the tube. I'm just quite, uh, you know, surprised and curious what sort of minority shareholders would have perhaps, uh, you know, opposed this SDR. It seems to be an absolute stalemate, at least uh, mm -hmm. for the time being.